This week, Solly Joe and the Would You Bend team are upcycling a chest of drawers. The drawers appeared to be slightly damaged, so our first job is to mix some meteric cream with Nuit Parisian to fill in the uneven wood. Once this is dry, the filler is sanded to create a smooth surface area. It's time to get creative! We brush water along the edge of the Postrock decoupage coupling navy so that it can tear easily. As the Postrock decoupage paper is slightly transparent, it's always best to apply the paper over a light surface, such as white. This will help the colours in the decoupage paper to really pop. A coating of Lomagic Satinata was applied to the surface so the decoupage paper can stick. Solly uses a dry paintbrush to smooth the decoupage paper, removing all the unwanted creases. The Satinato is then applied to the top of the decoupage in order to seal it. It's now time for the Woodjabend mouldings. We heat the 1269 Woodjabend moulding until it becomes bendy. We then apply a good quality wood glue to the entire back of the surface and press down hard. It is always best to reheat the moulding when it is on the surface as no surface is completely flat. If there is any excess glue, this simply means that the moulding is adhering well to the surface. You can clean up the glue with a wipe, wet paintbrush or cotton bud. We are now applying the Woodjaben Trim TR700 to frame the decoupage. All of the Woodjaben mouldings and trims require the same simple steps, so we followed the same steps as before. This trim, like most others, needed cutting. The trims are easy to cut with a craft knife once they are warm. Another third generation Woodjaben moulding that we'll be using for this project is 6093. We heat the moulding until it is bendy and apply our wood glue. We like to use tight bond quick and thick as it does exactly that. Some of the mouldings needed cutting so that they could fit in with our design. This wasn't a problem as we managed to wriggle the moulding into a perfect place. As we attach the decoupage and Woodjaben mouldings onto drawer fronts, we must slice them in order for the drawers to open. We must ensure the Woodjaben mouldings are warm and the post chalk decoupage is totally dry before attempting to cut through them. This will avoid tearing the decoupage. We thought the top of the chest of drawers looked a bit plain, so we decided to create our own Woodjaben centerpiece using the designs 1329 and 1304. We put the Woodjaben moulding. 1232 on both front legs. As long as the Woodjaben moulding is warm enough, it can bend around 90 degree corners. We hold the Woodjaben moulding in place until it cools down. This way, it will retain its shape. We coated the original wood along with the Woodjaben mouldings in La Magic Noyer Foncé as we wanted to be in keeping with the mid-century modern style. The light shade of the Woodjaben mouldings required a bit of extra attention, so the Woodjaben team added the dark brown Posh Chalk Patina Wax. Moving on to the Posh Chalk pigments, 
We chose the Byzantine gold for this project. We added the pigments first, followed by the Potshock infuser. It is always best to add a little at a time so you can control your own consistency. The liquid gold pigments are coated over the legs to create a glorious shine. Solly is now adding a selection of Poshchok aqua patinas onto the Wujibur mouldings to add a pop of colour. She uses the colours violet, blue for tallow, primary green, followed by blue Prussian. All of the aqua patinas are water based, so can be watered down to create a wash. The remaining Poshchok Byzantine gold pigments are dry brushed over the top of the mouldings to highlight their intricate details. Our chest of jaws is complete! Let us know what you think in the comments. If you would like to see more content then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching!